Lawmakers on Capitol Hill have some very unusual proposals to bring down the cost of higher education, but there's very little bipartisan agreement. Fox's Jared Halperin has more from the White House. As a society, it's time to face the music. We're scamming young Americans. It's no secret college costs are spiraling out of control for most families. And now Republicans on Capitol Hill are looking to tackle that problem through a new bill, the College Cost Reduction Act, which would make significant modifications to how colleges and the student loan system operate. Among the biggest changes, holding colleges accountable for debt held by graduates who do not make enough money to pay down their loans. In other words, schools would be forced to pay up if those students ended up earning less than predicted. The new economics of college have left millions of families across the country questioning what to do next. A band-aid simply won't do. But Democrats are pushing back, pointing out that plan would leave schools with a mountain of debt. For example, the University of Southern California would be liable for about $170 million in fines under the new bill. Another controversial provision, putting a $50,000 cap on federal student loans for undergrads, which Democrats claim would leave half of all students without the help they need. Most of the provisions only exacerbate the problem by limiting the students access to federal loans and then pushing them to the only thing that's left, the predatory private loan market. And the debate is expected to continue away from Capitol Hill. President Biden making student debt forgiveness a big part of his re-election campaign. At the White House, Jared Halpern, Fox 10 News.